It is my joy to share on behalf of Sister Teresina Rasela, our 8th General Superior from 2002 to 2013. She participated before in two general chapters. Uh, in 1989, she participated as Superior Provincial Superior of Santa Catarina Province, and in 1992, she was elected delegate to the chapter. In the chapter that she was elected in 2001, she was in Curitiba, concluding her studies in psychology, and then suddenly she received a phone call from Sister Jean, who was the general superior in that time, uh, informing her that she was candidate and then that she was elected superior general. Despite her fright and without any time for uh, discernment, she prayed uh, overnight and then the next day in the morning she said yes. On the next day, in a pure faith and willingness to serve, she trusts that the Savior would give her the strength and the wisdom to, uh, for this mission that she was saying yes. So she packed her few things in a suitcase, and renewed uh, her passport very, very, very quickly. And then, while the sisters uh, provided her a ticket, and then she arrived in Rome during the chapter to take part uh, in the election of the councillors and uh, uh, in the chapter decisions, uh, final decisions. Under the leadership of Sister Teresina, the team was directed to get to know the reality of the congregation in its different units and with the intention of responding to the current emergencies concern about the crisis of the world and consequently the church and the consecrated life developed and implemented a process called weaving salvatory and life towards the future. At this time, the congregation was discerning our solidarity with the situation of a poverty of our people. And above all, uh, we were reflecting about the situation of women and all those who are victims of trafficking. But there was also an internal call about our experience as consecrated women and the call to deepen our feminine identity in the light of our charism, in order to overcome the deep marks of patriarchal culture in which we were educated. In the units, our sisters were taking uh, initiatives and actions in favor of the most vulnerable women. There was a growing awareness of our commitment to the poor and the, the great causes of justice, the global causes of justice. Through the visit, continental meetings, we were able to deepen our charism and mission according to the reality of each culture. In the 19th general chapter, 2007-2012, Sister Teresina was re-elected. Then our motto was Salvatorian women, mystic and prophetic in our suffering world. As the sisters in the 2007 general chapter shared the experience of their units, after this communication process, we committed to live in solidarity with our suffering world so that all people may have life in fullness. With this inspiration, some specific actions were taken. We were invited to make a critical analysis of our lifestyle, our structures and apostolic activities in view to renew uh, our presence in the church and with world poorest people. The result 
uh, of this process of discernment where uh, the priorities that uh, the general chapter assumed it was to deep our Salvatorian spirituality, to live a culture of solidarity, and to have a holistic and inculturate formation for all the stages of our lives as sisters. During the term of office, the biggest challenge was to discern the future of the Salvato Mundi Hospital. Sister Teresina was instrumental to take concrete decision on it. It was a privilege for the congregation that she was also elected as a president of UISJ and she was able to direct this international team. In November 2004, the International Congress of Consecrated Life took place in Rome in partnership with the Union of the Superior General. The, more the theme of this Congress was uh, Patient for Christ and Patient for Humanity. Sister Teresinha presided this Congress, in which the entire Council uh, also took part, along with more than 800 religious from all continents. It was a very rich experience for all of us. The congregational challenges were several. In advance, the advancing age, for example, for the large number of the sisters of the congregation, the need of providing quality of life for this specific age, the lack of formation and the appropriate preparation for them, as well as the organization of the formation plan for the young units. Salvatorian formation also for the lay collaborators, many lay collaborators, was a challenge for this time uh, for our institutions. Formation for the, the management of the younger units and the, the problem of self-sustainability for all the congregation the old uh, units, the young units, and also for the management of the, the general aid. So the new technologies at the service of evangelization and the internal communication was also a challenge. To maintain and deepen our collaboration between units, uh, between continents, and within the Salvatorian family appear also like a, a, a great uh, challenge that we needed to respond in some way. So to respond to those challenges, the general aid uh, present uh, that the, the general chapter presented to the to the congregation and has a mandate of the general aid. The general aid planned the actions. The, international visitations, and also continental meetings, programs in the local unities, etc. And in order to balance the challenge of the collaboration within the Salvatorian family, the general chapter approved five years terms of office, and not the six years terms of office, in order that the international leaderships would hold their decisions making in the chapters and the, the elective events uh, in the same year in order to collaborate more synchronously and also to take uh, common projects as Salvatorian family. And responding to the general chapter mandate in August of 2007, Sister Teresinha and her council I uh, invited all the sisters of the congregations and formandis uh, to begin a congregational process called uh, Weaving Salvatorian Life to Toward the Future. This process I meant to involve everyone in a discernment and evaluation of our lifestyle, mission and the organizational model. At the local level of the units and also at the international level in order to make significant changes 
and optimize our mystical and prophetical Salvatorian presence in the Church and in the contemporary world. This process was uh, carried out uh, by stages, communicated to the entire congregation and culminated in the 20 general chapter in 2012. As a result of this process uh, during this term, the second term of office, uh, the single units and the European units uh, have been making their own changes in order to a closer collaboration, to unite the strengths, and to continue being in solidarity with suffering world, and also to be significant to the contemporary culture. In 2013, Sister Teresinha returned to Brazil, Santa Catarina province, and she was uh, involved with um, retreat, leading, leading retreats and uh, accompanying uh, spiritual, spirituality and also uh, listening people. Uh, she, she was very active, but we, uh, her co-sisters, were noticing certain memory lapses and some differences in her thinking. And after many uh, medical examinations, she was diagnosed with a reduction in her hippocampus, in the hippocampus of her brain, which was causing a kind of vascular demence, and that affected her memory. She underwent treatments that show slowed down the progression of the disease, but it is irreversible. Has this disease affected present memory? However, remote memories remain. Although these two are now beginning also to be affected by the lack of blood circulation in the brain areas, as well as other functions in the central nervous system. Although it's uh, becoming difficult for her to maintain a conversation, to maintain a linguistic communication because of the memories, the present memory is lacking. But Sister Teresinha remains the same tender person concerned about people with a deep, deep spirituality. These areas affective and spiritual remain alive and present in, uh, and she is able to, to take some actions such as serving juice for a visitor, greeting those who arrive with much joy, staying in the chapter praying in silence, or even saying the rosary in mass. That is her condition and her situation at this moment. I am grateful to work for the congregation under the leadership of Sister Teresina with her simplicity and openness to each one of us in the team. I am sad hearing of her present situation. May God bless her with good health. My dear sisters, I love you. I am praying for you. I know the of my kingdom, of Senhora, Aparecida. I know the of my kingdom. Senhora Aparecida May God bless 